there's a lot of people who are talking about the notion that we're in the middle of a new Cold War. So I'm curious about whether you think that that's hyperbole or whether you feel like the tensions between the United States and Russia are in fact at a kind of boiling point. This is the worst it's ever been. That's, that's what everybody feels in Russia. What's brought us to this point? What triggered this? We don't really know. It's not us who are imposing sanctions. It's not us who are expelling diplomats. We're only answering. There hasn't been a single move that Russia did to the US first. Why do you think the Americans believe that Russians interfered in the 2016 election? Well, I understand why the Americans believe so, because all the American media are saying so. Do you think that's not possible at all, that Russia engaged in the American election? We read the CIA report where my name was mentioned 27 times. Right. Well, I know I didn't interfere in the American elections. And it's just laughable to think that I myself, we at RT, could have in any way affected the American elections. But what if we had? Would that be any different from what American media have been doing in all of the countries of the world for decades now? There's an accusation that, that, that Russia was responsible for an attempted murder on, on British soil. Here in Russia, nobody believes it was Russia. Because no. Putin's never been responsible for political violence before? Is because that... it's not 1937. We don't do things like that. We're a normal country. It's not the first allegation of political violence that's been laid at Vladimir Putin's door. That's crazy. We don't want to be a country like that. You know, we are no North Korea. We are normal. If I find out that's true, I quit right now and become an oppositional leader in Russia. Your view is that the Russian election was a free and fair election? It was the, the fairest ever in all the elections that Russia has had. I think it's what no less free and fair than your election. Does it concern I, you that some of the farms that generate fake news stories are located in Russia? We only know that because the CIA told us so. We have informants who have said they worked on those farms. Russians who are in Russia saying, I worked on a farm that created fake news stories we, to upload to the internet. We have never seen a real single proof of somebody who would have credit who would say so. So what happens now? It depends on your country. We want to be friends but to expel more diplomats, to impose more sanctions. If you do more of that, it's gonna escalate. If you don't, it's not. That's it, we are not doing anything.